So this is just a quick video to answer some of the most common questions we get, uh, which is which cube do I need for my project? And to answer that, as of the time making this video, January 23, most people will use the cube orange plus here. This is the latest and the greatest autopilot from cube pilot. So that's the cube orange plus, but let's look at why this is the, uh, the most suitable autopilot for most people from the cube range. Let's take a look back at the, the first cube, so the cube black. Um, this was previously called the Pixhawk 2.1. So where these products came from, we had a Pixhawk, which was a Pixhawk 1 at the time. Then the very first ever cube was inside of the 3DR Solo, so the drone that came out in about 2015, and that was referred to as a Pixhawk 2. And then Cube Pilot released the Pixhawk 2.1, which later was rebranded as the Cube Black. So the Cube Black, um, an F4 based processor, is the first of this range of cubes from Cube Pilot and released also with Hex in China. Um, so let's have a look at that. So Black Cube is the F4 processor. There was a slight product change to keep with demand because of some of the discontinued IMUs in the Cube Black. So a, a temporary release was a Cube Black Plus. While the Cube Black was out, we also had uh, the Cube Mini or the Cube Purple. So this doesn't have all the features of the Cube. This is a just a processor board. It doesn't have the dampened or heated IMUs. The idea of the Purple is to be used in ground vehicles, uh, to be used in ground rovers or in boats. Something that doesn't uh, generally doesn't fly, in which case the heated and dampened IMUs are better. The Yellow Cube um, is the f7 processor so this was originally targeted for px4 users and at the time of its release there was no h7 support in px4 then we got onto the orange cube or q orange which features the h7 processors and again due to discontinue of imus we still have a an h7 processor but the h756 but we have a new range of imus in the plus so the orange plus is an H757 processor and it has the latest IMU, so we refer to this as IMU version 8. And this is the, the latest product from Cube Pilot, and this is most suitable for most users. Uh, a product here on the side is this uh, Cube Blue, so this is the H7 variation, so it is essentially um, the orange cube, but the blue ones are made in America. So, not shown on here was the F4 cube blue, which didn't have the H7 marking, um, that was the first one to be made in America, to be made in California. And this particular one in shot here is the H7, which is a cube orange made in California. And this is exactly the same performance as this cube here. It is just made in a different factory. And this might be essential for some customers dealing with American governmental departments or particular procurement routes that require the autopilot to be made in America. All the other cubes are made in Taiwan but the manufacturer also has facilities to manufacture in various other countries such as Australia, Singapore and America. And some lucky people might have received, when they ordered an orange cube, the gold cube. <laughs> so this was a promotion run uh, by Cube Pilot. Uh, this is a gold cube, beautiful. Um, you might be able to tell which cube it is by this little antenna here. So in this standard carrier board, when the orange cube came out, they released it with the uh, AB, ADSB receiver. So this here is an orange cube, but it has been put in a gold plated case. So these, there was a limited release of these and they were given out at random to customers and suppliers as a bit of a commemorative token. So this is a, a rough overview of the cube family. There's a couple of ones not here. So there, there was a green cube. The green cube was essentially a black cube, but it had different voltages on the PWM outs to deal with different ESCs. So that used to be used in the 3DR Solo. So let's just summarize here about this, this Cube Pilot family. So the whole point of cubes are that they're modular, they can be interchanged with the carrier boards. Uh, one thing to note is that you, you must have a carrier board with a cube. So although you can plug a USB in the side here and power it up, not, nothing will actually happen. You can't connect to it or communicate to it unless it's on a carrier board because that's where the power management system is on a carrier board. Um, so just remember that if you do buy a standalone cube, you do need a carrier board, so cubes must have a carrier board in order to function. There's many different ones available. So here on this Cube Orange Plus, it's sitting on a standard carrier board, which has the ADSB, 
receiver and this is sold as the cube standard set the other way to the purchase cubes are cube only such as just a cube blue or cube purple but you must have a carrier board in order to use them the whole idea of this cube pilot and cube ecosystem is that the cubes will are modular and they can fit on different carrier boards the connector is common between all of these cubes and shot here so you could take this cube orange plus recently released and you could go back and put it on the 2015 3d or solo and upgrade the original mark one cube if you like or pixel 2 with the latest and greatest autopilot and it will screw in and work so i hope you've enjoyed this little overview of the cube family and again to answer the most common question which cube do i need most people 90 percent of people it will be the cube orange plus here on the standard carrier board you can purchase this as it is shown here in the box or also as a combo with the gps thank you for spending your time today watching that video you can find me in all the usual places on social media and if you're trying to learn about a subject then check out the playlist all of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff